The second thing we would like to talk about are the vertical towers that we use to grow a variety of crops. You can use these towers to grow as hydroponic spring onions, like uh, you're seeing them grow in here. Uh, this vertical tower has 40 holes. They are extruded in such a way that there is no competition for nutrients. And you know, I'll be explaining to you uh, how we feed the towers. Now you can grow other crops such as strawberries, you can do dill, you can do parsley, you can do mint, you can do celery, and uh, a variety of other leafy uh, herbs and spices. It is easy to feed uh, the spring onions uh, on this. They don't require you to uh, water every day. That's why we have them in the same system together with the strawberries. As you can see here, uh, we have uh, around uh, seven pipes of uh, strawberries. As we said, each, each of these vertical tower has 40 holes. So these are 40 seedlings of the strawberries. And they are now at the flowering stage. So uh, right now we are pulling out the, the first flowers. We are doing what we call uh, deflowering. Uh, so that we ensure that we'll be harvesting strawberries that are of good size and uh, good quality in the long run. Basically, for strawberries, you, sh you should not water them every day because they will wilt and die. So that's why we have one system growing the onions together with the strawberries. So we only water once every three days and during the cold seasons like June and July we water once every four days. Basically if you would like to visit us uh, to see or to learn train on how to grow your own strawberries and a variety of other herbs and spices you are welcome. Uh, we have every crop here those that are doing well those that are not doing very well, you are able to learn about nutrient deficiencies and everything so that when you go to do it in an actual farm or in your pilot project, you are able to solve uh, some of those uh, challenges that you may experience. Yeah, so it is easy. Uh, they don't need a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of work compared to tomatoes you know, to keep them alive. They don't need uh, a lot of water also. You can visit us for more, more information on strawberries and, uh, you know, the use of these vertical towers. How we water is that we have an overhead pipe here and this pipe uh, supplies water from a pump. Uh, so we have... Uh, a pump that pumps water from an underground tank that you will see and then uh, the water comes and drips down from the top into the vertical towers goes all the way down and then drains back to the underground tank yeah so i hope uh, you you can now see that you don't need a lot of you know a lot of water and you also don't need to be watering manually you can have a pump you can also install a timer that you know takes care of that if you're away and you do not have anyone to uh, do the watering for you we also have uh, some trays uh, full of seedlings that we have uh, put just next to the to the vertical towers and basically this is part of uh, taking space, uh, taking advantage of unused space. Uh, this is a vertical space so that's why we have put some you know trays with seedlings there. Uh, they are for collards, uh, amaranth and uh, nightshade. Yeah we also have some spinach uh, seedlings 
basically just taking advantage of the vertical space instead of letting it uh, lie idle. So feel free to contact us, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, you know, hit the bell uh, button so that you are always notified whenever we upload uh, new content. We also have our website grandioafrica.com and uh, you can also email us for more requests, for more information, for better clarification. We are here for you. Thank you very much and be safe, stay safe.